Welcome back to the farm, guys. It has actually been a while since we've done this game. A lot of people have been, you know, giving me little hints that they want to see a new episode. And here it is. This game has actually got a lot of new updates. I don't know what they all are. I know it has actually added irrigation into it. But you know what? Let's just get into it. I don't even remember where we were. Uh, so let's go ahead and play it. We are actually in what? Uh, August 22nd. So it's already almost the end of the year already. Uh, what are we doing over here? Okay, we're okay. We're going tomatoes. That's right, because we didn't have enough money for our harvesters. Tomatoes, twenty-seven days on that, fourteen days on that one, and that one. Okay, says grows. Uh, how many days is it supposed to grow though? And then the grass is hibernating. Hibernating? What? I don't know. Okay, let me actually see if I can. Whoa, what's? This one. Oh, that's for the fields. Duh. See, this has been a while since I played this. I, I don't remember nothing. What's this? A pump allows access to water for irrigation. <gasps> 5000 a month. Okay, so but how do you set up the irrigation? You just put a pump and then that's it? Oh, okay, look. So if we place this, say, right over here, it should cover all the fields. That's $5,000. Let's do that. Oh, it needs power. What the hell? Um. Uh, electric transformer. Okay, where's the nearest tran? All the way over there. Okay, let's. I guess put a pole. Let's put a pole up right over here. And can I make that go right over there? And then there we go. Okay, how much money do we have? Eight thousand dollars. Okay, electric transformer. Put this one right here and connect it up to there. We got power. Okay, so now we're supposed to have irrigation, I believe. Um, Wait, this one says it looks like it could be already picked. All right, so it looks like they're going to be harvesting that. Uh, let's see, we should not need to actually... Yeah, it shows water now. So the water should always be up since we have irrigation. Okay, so... Check. Oh, we're a broke, broke, broke. $316. That's it. Uh, let's sell some milk. There we go. Got some money. Uh, keeping all of that. Okay, let's fast forward time a little bit. Okay, they are starting to harvest our tomatoes, which we should get tons of money for. Uh, we got that one and this one. The grass, I have no clue what's going on with that. Uh, how are we doing on silage? Or grass, actually. We're making some. Uh, milk, we're making some. Which they are eating what? Okay, they're not eating any oats because we don't have any. Okay, it's been a while since we've actually played this game, so I'm trying to get used to it again. That field is going to take a minute to be harvested, though. I hope I have enough time to actually harvest all these fields. Okay, that one has 11 days. This one has 24 days. Okay. So, uh, let's fast forward time and try to get done some harvesting real quick. Okay, the harvest is still going, but we're about to actually hit September. I want to know how much we're going to be in debt. I'm scared about this one right here. Uh, how much harvesting is left? Okay, almost done. They are getting close. This field is five days, and this field is 17 days. This one they still need to do a little bit more work on. I need those tomatoes. Okay, so $22,000 in the hole. Woo. Where's the mail from? No money. Oh, yeah, definitely no money. Uh, let's see. So take those in so we can sell them. How much are we going to get from them? Let's see. Sell tomatoes. $35,000. Woo. We have money. Can't believe that. That much debt. $22,000 in debt on that. Okay, so that field is completely done. This thing is still growing, so we can actually get more out of it. This field is going to be about to be ready to be harvested. Oh, they're harvesting that one already. So here goes some more tomatoes. Hopefully, they can get this done before the end of, well, pretty much fall. How are we doing on the milk? So I want to try to hold on. Let's pause this real quick. Uh, just keep it on play. Okay, let's see. What should we grow uh, or buy? I should say. 
Uh, seeds, mill. I need. S can we do anything with like tomatoes or anything? Let's see. Milk processing, definitely not. Fruit processing, maybe. Wait, it says right over there. Uh, no, no, definitely not fruit. Vegetables. Now this, yes, we probably make some ketchup, but it's three hundred eighty thousand dollars. Whoa, frozen foods. I mean, what else is over here? Come on, move over. And then we got the oil factor, which we can make some oil. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting into any of that kind of stuff for a while. Let's see, decorations, others, animals. What kind of animals can we get? Chickens, so we can get eggs, probably. Ostriches, chicken coops, large chicken coops, ostriches. Fish farming, we can get into fish farming. Uh, let's see, we got small cow shed, pig tree, medium cow sheds. Small shed, large pig tree, medium shed. And then we got the big one right here, which lots of training. You see all that training we need? Oh, geez. Required annual agricultural school, breeding farms training. Wow, there's a lot of stuff we have to do. Okay, how are we doing on that? Still like it, yeah. But this one is almost done too, so we're about to have two fields. Uh, but that should get us what? If we're getting about thirty-five thousand per each field, that would give us what thirty-five, about seventy thousand dollars with all this. So, not too bad. I mean, not enough to actually buy anything really big, but still, it's nice none the least. The thing is, is we need to figure out what our next venture is going to be in this game. Okay, now we have completely harvested all of our tomatoes. So let's actually see how much we're going to get for all these tomatoes. So we have, wow, 12000 Jeez. $63,000. Not bad, actually. Let's go ahead and sell all those. So we actually have $75,000 now. Not too bad. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we have small cow sheds right here. I'm looking into actually getting bigger cow sheds. So let's go over here. The small ostrich farms. No, let's... uh. There's the small one right there. What do we need for the medium? Annual agricultural school and breeding farmers training. Okay, so let's go to, I believe it's under here. Training, there we go. Okay, so workshop, uh, use of renewable energy sources, give access to wind farm building. Oh. Uh, workshops on warehouse management, practical training and negation skills, sales training, uh, farms, reduce price of Let's see, agriculture machinery training, no. Increase the strength of your employees by 5%. That's actually, it's actually not too bad right there. I mean, that would probably help us when we're harvesting. Uh, increase the quality and quantity of the harvest by 10%. It gives access to specialized training. Oh, we can't do, we need $100,000 to unlock that. What? Staff management it allows you to hire up to 150 staff. I don't even need to worry about staff right now. I was going to try to do this because is, isn't that what we need? Oh, wait, hold on. We need the breeding training, don't we? Where is the breeding training at? Mentoring. Uh, nope, not in there. Maintenance of machines. Farm financials. Uh, products and crops by 10%. Practical training negation skills. Use of renewable. I don't see any of that right there. Let me actually, let's click on that again. Let's go right over to here. Okay, annual agriculture. Yeah, okay, so we do need it. Hundred thousand dollars. I only got seventy-four. How much? How much more longer till this one? Thirteen days, twenty-five, thirty-eight, and then. Oh, uh, how much milk do we even have to sell? Let's see. Uh, go over here. Ooh, actually, quite a lot. So there's 10,000. See, I wish we could get the production, I mean, the production building to actually turn that milk into, like, either cheese or butter. That would be nice right there, because that means we would get a lot more money off of this. Okay, so they're doing some more work right there. Yeah, it just took out some money because of that, but at least we're actually in the positive. I need to figure out where we're going to be going from here. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do no fish farming. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how much money you can even get off of doing fish. What's this one? Small shed. That's for like sheep and stuff like that. Um, 
So you can't even buy Harvester right now because Harvester, I believe the cheapest Harvester is like 300,000. Uh, if you guys know where we should go from here, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you guys think we should expand? All right, let's see. Yeah, because the cheapest like production we can do right now. Let's see. We are growing tomatoes right there. So the tomato thing, we already said it's like 300000 Milk is, yeah, we need $340,000 for that too. Ugh. You know what? Let, let's actually see what kind of training we got over here though. Maybe it might help us. Increase the rate of production. We don't have any kind of production. Uh, workshop uh, on warehouse management. Increase your storage capacity. Price of machines on stock market by 10. Reduces the price of machines. That's not too bad. Okay, farm finance reduces bills by 2%. Increase the machine durability. Increases the strength of employees. 20% employees. Let's see. That's the one we really need is right there. And then staff management training. Um, thinking. Maybe this one. Buildings and machines. I mean, this one right here. Oh, it's 20 days. Ugh. Let's just hold out. Let's just hold out. Let's fast forward some time. Let's see what happens. I don't even know why they're not doing anything on here. Because that would be nice to actually get, well, get it to start going. I don't know what's going on with it. Why is it hibernating? Get 10 days on that, 21 on that, and 34 on that. You know what? Let, let's get some more cows. Let's just go ahead and get some more cows real quick. So let's go ahead and put that one right there. And let's buy two more things of cows, which is social right over here. Small cow shed. Uh, Got to rotate it. R to rotate. So one, two right there. Okay, so we got those actually building right there. So two more cow sheds should get us more milk. But we are going to need to start getting some grass. I probably need to order some more grass. Let's actually order some. So grass. Uh, what kind? Wait, what kind of grass are we using? Just regular grass right now. Oh yeah, they're almost out of grass. Um, grass. Can I buy ten thousand? How much would that be? Oh, that ain't bad. Okay, buy. There we go. Oh, of course, no power. Barely no power. Let's put this right there. And there we go. Let there be light. Uh, oh, we need... Uh, do I have enough workers in here? Probably not. So we need to hire two more animal workers. So animals. Okay, not bad. And not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and put you... S okay, how do I know which ones we just hired? Um, yeah. I guess... Three, five, two... Maybe it's the bottom ones? So let's put this one right here. And you... Oh, uh, why... Okay. Oh, is it because everybody's still hired? I need to hire another one? Oh. And there's that one. Okay, now. Don't go anywhere. Yes, you stay here. There you go. Alright. So, we got workers. Now we need to buy some cows. Seriously, deer. <laughs> Alright, so buy, 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 buy. And then you, we need to buy some more cows. There we go. And that, and that, and that, and that. All right. So that is done right there. So we actually have some more cows coming in. Oh, wow. So we actually have 4, 8, 12, 16 cows on this farm now. And they are actually starting to harvest that. And whoa, it's back down to $7,000. Okay. Hopefully this thing can hold all that manure. It holds up to 20000 They are still making some more silage over here. Okay, so why are we growing any grass? That's what I'm wondering. 
Okay, this should give us another 30,000, 30,000, and 30,000. So, uh, that's definitely going to help us. Okay, now we're at the end of October and, well, it's actually Halloween. <laughs> Money's about to come out. I'm so scared. I got $27,000, though, from selling this tomatoes. I'm in the hole by 1,000. Yeah, it's costing us a lot more now. Uh, let's actually, how much milk do we got to sell? 44. Ooh, see, we're making a lot more milk now. So back up in the positive, this should give us some money. That should give us some money. But what I am looking into is hopefully, yes, I want to actually plant something else. So estimated yield $98,000 for apple seedlings, but it takes them 300 days. Oh, 112 for apricots. But what do you need for like doing those kind of things? Let's see. About $112,000. Let's try this. Let's do some... We need to do some trees. Let's see. Cherry seedlings. I need to actually slow down time. Hold on. Let's slow down time real quick. Oh, wait. It's not going too fast. Never mind. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. So let's see, twenty-seven thousand. Look at that, only seven hundred thirteen dollars. That that's terrible. But it only takes one hundred five days, though. Organics. Uh, we got some spinach, sorghum, red peppers. Uh, Fifty thousand. See, so this would be eighty-eight days. So that would be what, probably almost triple. So that'd be one hundred fifty thousand dollars in a year. See, that's not too bad. Red peppers at that price. See, because that's what's 168, and that's 300 days. But what do you need for it? You know, let, let's try the apricots and see what happens. Let's see more. Okay, so it needs an orchard tractor, and looks like an orchard planter. So orchard tractor and a planter, and we are broke. Jeez. <laughs> uh, um, let me see how much an orchard tractor even cost. How much is it? Thirty-five thousand. That ain't too bad. Uh, what about planter? Orchard planter, thousand dollars. So, I mean, if we can harvest this all the way, and this one, we could probably get those. So, what are they doing in this? Okay, they're about to plow that. Hopefully, we got enough room over here, though. I didn't even check to see if there was enough room. So I'm getting tired of actually doing the tomatoes. Uh, what do you need for that, though? Oh, you don't need no harvester, so that's good. All right, so they're plowing all that under. So we can actually do some fruits. So you do that field of that, and then this one, we can do something else. Uh, what are you doing over here, anyways? You're going to drive and take it to the silos so I can sell some? Because you got this field to do, too. Oh, there we go. Finally. All right. So, let's push this back on play. Let's try... Oh, I can't... What? I thought it's done harvesting. Okay, why can't I change this? Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yes, destroy the field. Bio. Okay, something else. Uh, let's see. 43000 on that one. That takes 50 days. Uh, 25000 20000 27000 Watermelons make $41,000. Uh, see, that's more apricots. But that takes 300 days. That means we're going to go a while without any. Um, pumpkins, 90 days, 23,000. See, that one, 41,000 on that one. Uh, let's move up a little bit. 50,000 on the peppers, and that takes 88 days. So that takes about two and a half months. 141,000, that one takes 300 days, and that's plums. Poppies, 30, 151 on pears. Uh, I'm trying to look at all these real quick. Oats, lapine, hemp, 29,000, 120 days. That's definitely not worth it. Uh, let's see. 18, 25, 120. This, well, 
Actually, no. Cabbage, 24. That takes 77. I'm trying to figure out which one would be the best. Barley seaweed, we'd have to get a harvester for that. Maybe tomatoes is the best what we can do right now. I mean, those strawberries ain't too bad either. That's only... See, let's see. 43, that's 78. Actually, that's... That's a lot less days. That's almost tw uh, 18 less days. Let's do some strawberries on these. So that one's going to do some strawberries. Do we miss anything? No, we're not missing anything on that. So do that one, strawberries. And let's do this one also. Change it over to... Oops. Can't do that yet. What am I doing? Uh, sell. 7,000 right there. Tomatoes, 30,000. So we have 50,000. Okay, let's see if we can actually buy that orchard tractor real quick. Okay. Buy. Okay. Looks like we do have some parking spaces. Let's see. Only takes up one parking space, so not too bad. Okay, so there's the orchard. Let's see if we can get the planter, too, while we're at it. Orchard planter. 1,000. And with this one. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we have everything for that. So now we're going to have an orchard. We're also going to have two strawberry fields over here. So let me make sure everything's on here. Yep. Everything on here. Yep. And on here. And then grass, we should have everything. Yep. Okay, so there we go right there. Okay, so let's just fast forward time. They are finishing their last harvest on here. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I haven't changed this one over yet. What day is it? The 12th. They should get this done. See, this one's going to take a while. Got 14,000. Give me some more milk. There we go. And more. There we go. Okay, we're actually in the plus. I mean, that I like being in the plus a lot more than I like being in the negative. I, I hate doing this stuff by hand, though. It takes forever. Okay, how are they how are they all doing? See, if we start getting that grass, I can switch it over to organic grass. And that means they'll get organic bales and all that. Can you make organic bales on here? Oh, yeah, you can make bio bales. Okay. We just have to go over to here. Yeah, see bio bales right there. Yeah, see, 50, and I would get 50. See, that's what we need. But for some reason, there's no grass growing on here. Maybe they have to wait, I guess? Yeah, is this done? It's Yeah, it's done. So what are they doing over here? Fertilizing it. Come on, finish this up so I can change it. Come on. Is ever going to change it? There we go. What? Okay. Can I change it now? Nope, I guess not. Uh, wrong button. Sell another thirty-two thousand dollars, four thousand dollars. So up at fifty-three thousand. The problem is, is I don't think that will cover us all the way through the winter time, though. I don't want to have some more tomatoes. Uh, this one's going to be turned into strawberries. This one's going to be turned into strawberries too. Yes, there we go. Oops. Strawberries. There we go. Okay, so they're going to be plowing that one up too. See, the thing is, though, this thing won't be ready till what? November? October? And that's if they get a seed. We'll seed it soon. Have they got a seed? Yeah, they've got to seed it. Well, no, they don't. They need to still seed it, so. So that field's getting done. They are making some more milk. See, the milk might actually help us, though. That's another 4,000 right there. How are we doing on grass? 8,000. Yeah, but in about a minute, they're going to be taking a lot out. Winter starts in 27 days. See, when it hits winter, you can actually skip time. That field's plowed. What are we waiting for? I don't know why they're not doing any of these fields. Or they might not be doing them to the beginning of the year. I bet you that's what's going to happen. Hopefully we got enough manure. 
Ooh, 1,500. That's it? Yeah, we're almost out of manure. I don't know if there's even going to be enough manure to do all that. Sell. 3,000. We're almost up to 60,000. Okay, what are you guys waiting on now? In delivery, manure, strawberry. Oh, they had to order more manure because I didn't have enough. Dang it. Yeah, because there's only 37 there. And there goes all that money. $29,000. Apricot. What? No, it's not. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay, winter actually starts in only two days. So I hope I have enough money to just get through winter and not have to actually, well, figure it out. Uh, let's see. We have one more day left. So it should pop up on the screen. Usually it does to skip winter. There it is. Winter is here in your first frosting. This is the end of field work. Now you should focus on attending to your animals and repairing the machines after seasons of hard work. Okay, so how do you go through? I forgot how to go through it. Or is it that one? I think it might be that one. Oh, our balance would be $13,000. Skip winter. Spring is here. Here we go. Oh, no, we're in the plus. Okay. Oh, look at that snow. Jeez. All right. Let's see if we can actually sell some milk. $5,000 milk. And look, the grass. We actually have grass. Okay. Actually, I need to check our other grass since we skipped. Um, how are we doing on grass over here? 50. Let me go over to here. Sell. Okay. We're still at 6,000 liters. We're still perfectly fine. Okay, that's strawberries, strawberries, and apricots. What's this for? Diseased field. What? How's that diseased? Okay. Hopefully you have enough money to fix it. Okay, let's see. The stock says that soya and... What is that? Plums? Is that plums? I think it's plums. Yes, plums are in order. Oh, look at that. We actually got some trees going to be growing. And then vineyards. Oh, that's so cool. How are you guys going to fix this? I wonder. What's this one for? Diseased field. No machine. Orchard sprayer. I thought I had... Oh, do I not have an orchard sprayer? I guess not. And that is $18,000. Ugh. Let's just rent one, I guess. There we go. Didn't know I actually needed one because it didn't show I needed one. At least I don't think it said that, did it? So we got everything for that. Orchard sprayer. Okay, now it's spring. Man. Now we got more payments. 800, what, 25 I said for that? Oh, well, hopefully hopefully it's worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this. Another $6,000 right over here. And now we're down to $22,000. Okay. Okay, at least all this stuff is growing. So that's growing. That's growing. And that's got... Yeah, that's got plenty of time. And this thing is growing too. So we got grass. Uh, we're just going to have to start catching up with pretty much doing milk for right now. There's a thousand right there paid off. Yeah, this thing's got 42 days and 38, so that's over a month. And if we had another $22,000 again... Oh, no. What are we going to do? Okay, now they are actually cutting grass. And yes, we are in the positive. I actually sold all my milk throughout this whole month, and we're in the positive. Well, at least for right now, I should say. Uh, probably need to get some money so they can actually start spraying these down. I mean, uh, this one, they're starting to actually spray it down. 158, but I'm about to go probably back into the negative again in a second. So let's just try to sell as much as we can before it does happen. Uh, 200 liters, another $700 and 80. Okay, so now we got enough to actually spray all of our fields. Good thing is, is 14 days on this one 
18 days on that one. And then this one, they are working on it. So this is going to help us with basically turning our whole thing into organic for the cows. And that should hopefully, I'm thinking it should give them more milk. Uh, let's just hope so. That one still has, yeah, that has plenty of time. All right, let's go over to here. Sell $3,000 worth of milk. Uh, there it goes right there. $27,000 in the hole. We're never going to be back up in the positive ever again. <laughs> All right, but at least we got some grass. And then now I can actually start turning this into... Let me see if we can actually change this thing over. Because it... Wait, hold on. Let me see. Is it right here? No, it's right here. So we have 10,000, wow, of organic. So let's change production over to organic. So that should start working in a minute. Let's actually get a little bit of it before we actually start doing, well, switching over our cows onto it, onto the organic side. Okay, what is this thing missing now? Why has it got this thing on here? Let me see. Spring, not enough resources. Great, so they're not going to have any of that on there. Uh, let's sell some of this. $3,000. We have lots of organic. And it's only worth $3,000. Hmm. All right. Let me see when we actually get... When we start getting some organic bales, that... I mean, some silage, organic silage, that's when we're going to be actually starting to switch over to that. Well, actually, we, I think we can start switching over now. Let's use... Once your animals have been fed non-organic food, you cannot change the type of food. That's fine. Okay, let's turn that off. Wait, why can't I change it? You cannot change the type of food. Okay. So let me change it. Is it because I don't got any? I don't know what's going on. I guess we'll just wait for a minute and see what happens. That was my whole plan, actually getting them to eat organic food. Okay, what's that? Eight days left on this one, four on that one. This one is completely done. This one doesn't have enough money for it to get actually the thing I need. Oh, look, we got our first bio bales. $5,000. Okay, now let's see if I can switch it. Switch! Hmm. Wait a minute, why isn't it saying in the warehouse that I actually have some of those? Only organic. What? Those, those aren't considered organic? Okay, use only organic food. Let me switch that to there. That, that. I don't know why I can't switch that over. Hmm, if you guys know why, let me know down in the comment section below, guys. I have no clue. Because they have 10,000 liters of grass organic and 250 of silage organic. But for some reason, it is not working. So if that's going to happen, we're just going to switch this over to a regular grass field. And then, yeah. Oh, we're finally getting some strawberries. Let's see how much we get actually for this field. And then we'll probably be calling it an episode. Okay. Fully harvested. This still has tons of time. Can we get this done before the end of this month? I don't know. Let's sell some milk. Another $3,000. How much is these organic bales? Only 217. Jeez. 1400 on that. Yeah, because if I don't if I can't switch this thing over anytime soon, then yeah. Or maybe it's hold on. I think I know why. Okay, let's pause this. I know that yeah. So, well, if I sell these. No, I gotta wait. I gotta wait for a little bit. I was about to say, maybe I got to sell them and switch it to organic and then buy the cows, maybe. Because maybe because they're grass-fed with the regular, I can't use it like that. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, this thing has bugs and everything now. <laughs> Great. All right, so that's going on. They are still making some milk, so sell the milk. 533. Just got to wait for the strawberries, because as soon as the strawberries come in... That should give us plenty of money. Come on, finish that up. There we go. Come on. As soon as you guys do that... Oh, bear's fruit. That thing's ready to be harvested, too. Are you going to go sometime today? 
before I go more into debt. What's the next one? Yes, I know. I was going to wait for this dude, probably. Yep. Of course, the last dude. Starving animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's... Let's go to sell. Uh, $28,000. Not bad. Back to 700 We are finally in the plus. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell our cows in here. And then... Okay, so let's buy a cow. See what happens. Use organic. There we go. Finally. Now we got them eating bio. So, see, can we switch it over here? See, you can't do it. See, sell, sell, sell. Then buy. Use organic food. There we go. Then same thing with these. Buy. Organic. And then sell, sell, sell. Buy. Organic. There we go. Okay, so all the cows are going to be switched over to organic food. So, look at all the trucks and everything coming in. Jeez. It's because we finally got some money in. That's what's happening. They're harvesting those. These things got a while. Okay, guys. So, we're going to be calling that an end of the episode. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I know most of this episode we were sitting there trying to figure out how to get out of the negative. I think this time we're actually going to be good. So remember guys, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys slap that like button. Let's try for 100 likes on this video. Remember guys, have an amazing day guys. Peace. We got a windows down. Driving down the 405. Sing along to the radio. Gonna make it someday Nothing's gonna get in our way